Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are making this crochet checkered bag. I feel like there's tons of videos showing similar bags to this, but I don't think I've seen one for a bag this big. And I feel like mine's a little bit different than other ones I've seen, um, but this is what it looks like. I tried really hard to make this tutorial accessible to anyone, regardless of crochet skill. Hopefully you're able to follow this and make your own bag, whether you're an expert or a beginner at crochet. But yeah, this is how the bag looks and I'm going to get into the video. To make this bag, you're gonna need two colors of worsted weight yarn. This one is acrylic big twist yarn and here's all the information. This is in the color ivory. And for my second color, I have Red Heart Super Saver in the color light raspberry. You'll need a five millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, and a darning needle. We're gonna start our first panel and you're gonna grab one of your colors. I'm choosing my pink one, but it doesn't matter. You just have to keep this consistent for both panels. Before you start, you need to figure out how large you want your bag to be. The one that I'm making is about 13 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter inches, which equates to 12 squares horizontally and 10 squares vertically. You can do whatever size you want, so less or more than what I have, but you should make the number of squares that you have even. First, you're going to make a slip knot. So you take your yarn, wrap it around your finger, then grab it where it meets, then pull this over your finger, grab this yarn, and then pull it through. Then insert your hook. And to figure out the number of chains you need to make, multiply the number of squares you're doing horizontally times four, and then add three. Since I'm doing 12 squares horizontally, I'm multiplying that by four, which is 48, plus three, which is 51. So you'll just chain by wrapping the yarn around the hook and pulling it through that loop. So that's one, two, three, four, and I'm going to do this until I get to 51. Now we're going to make a double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. This is our first, our second, our third, and our fourth right here. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that fourth chain from the hook, pull the yarn through that loop. So you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. Now you're gonna do the same thing into the next stitch, which is right here. So wrap your yarn, go into there, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Each square is gonna be made up of four double crochets, and this chain three does not count as a stitch, so we need to do two more double crochets. So wrap your yarn, insert your hook, do a double crochet and then for this last one the fourth one we are going to do something a little bit different because we're changing colors to our other color so wrap your yarn go into the stitch like normal yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops and then instead of yarning over with this color and pulling through these two loops we are going to pull through with our new color Take your new color, make a slip knot, and then put that on the hook, tighten it a little bit, and then pull it through those two loops. And you can tighten this pink down a little bit just to make it a little more snug. And now I'm holding these two strands of yarn. This one's the tail from the yarn that we just attached, and then this is the pink yarn that we just used to make these double crochets. So I'm holding them both back here behind the chain and I'm gonna work around them. Now that I'm working with this yarn, I'm gonna make a double crochet into the next four stitches, working around these two strands of yarn. Wrap your hook, insert into the next chain, which is right here. Do a double crochet. And again, I'm working over these two strands of yarn. Second double crochet, third, 
and fourth. And on our fourth one, we're changing back to this color. So we're not gonna pull through those last two loops. I'm gonna pull this that way. Then I'm grabbing the pink again and then pulling that through those loops. And now I'm working with the pink. And I'm now gonna hold this in the back and work over the tail and this white piece of yarn. Now we are doing what we just did, but now with the pink yarn. So do a double crochet into the next four stitches, working over those other two pieces. It's one, two, three, and then this is the fourth one. I'm gonna pull my yarn to the back pick up this color and then pull that through those two loops, then tighten this down. And now again, we're just repeating this pattern doing four double crochets. And then on that fourth one, you change colors to the next color and then you do four more double crochets all the way until the end. Once I get to about that much remaining of the tail, I just stop working that in. I'm on my last square, and if you counted correctly, you should have four chains remaining. For the last one, I'm not going to be changing colors because each square is going to be two rows worth. So we still have to finish this square height wise on the next row. So I'm just going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through with the white. And then I'm going to chain three. And I should also note that this side is our good side. And then this side is going to be our bad side where we had that tail sticking out. And we're gonna keep all like ugliness of the bag on this side. So now we are going to turn our work. And here's what I do to carry the pink over since we're not using it immediately. Since I'm on the back side of my work, as you can see by that yarn tail, I'm gonna take my yarn, keep it on this side of the work, the bad side, and then pull it up like that and then I can just work around it like normal. Basically, we're just trying to keep this part on the bad side. Do a double crochet into this very first stitch over the pink yarn and then into the next one. And now you don't really have to count because you're just going into the previous stitch. So we have one more. And on this one, we're gonna be changing colors. So I'm gonna drop this and then pull this pink through those loops now I'm working over the white yarn and I'm just going to go into these four stitches. Changing colors on this one. And we are going to just do this all the way down. Also a little tip to keep your yarn from getting tangled is to Basically, this is how I have my yarn set up in front of me. So when I'm picking up pink yarn, I'm making sure to pick it up behind the white yarn. And when it's time to pick up white yarn, I'll drop the pink to the back and pick the white yarn up in front like that. So I'm just going with which one I have in front of the other and that will keep them from getting tangled. Now that I'm on my last stitch of the row, notice how we now have two rows. So this is a completed square. So now we do have to change color at the end of the row because this next one needs to be the white square, if that makes sense, because they need to alternate, you know? Now I'm just gonna pull my white yarn through those two loops and then chain up three with my white yarn. Now, since this is our good side, because there's no tail, 
remember the tail is the way to know which side is the good side, we aren't going to just pull the yarn up like we did for that previous row. Instead, we're just gonna let it go behind. And I'm just working over it like so. So just going to that very first stitch, working over the other color. I'm doing my last stitch of this row and notice how this is not the right height. We need one more row, so I'm not going to be changing colors. Just continuing with the pink. Chain three. Turn your work. And as you can see, this is the bad side. So we're going to do this to carry that color over that we're not using currently. And just continue doing what we've been doing, where you just do four double crochets and then on that fourth one, change your color to the next color. All the way until the end. I'm going to continue doing this pattern that we've been doing until I have 10 squares, which technically each square is two rows of double crochet. So 20 double crochet rows total for my bag, but do whatever height you want to do for yours. And I will be back. I'm finishing up my 10th row of squares and on this very last stitch I'm going to change my color because I just finished a square and now, now we're going to make the handles. Basically the strategy here is going to be keeping this outside edge straight and then on the inside of the bag towards the middle we are going to decrease to kind of create this right triangle shape. I'll put a picture up to show you what I'm talking about on the actual bag. You're gonna chain three with your new color. Turn your work. This is the back side, so I'm keeping this white on the back. Now we're gonna do the regular checkered pattern we've been doing, but instead of going all the way across, we're gonna just stop after doing this fourth square. If your bag is if your bag is going to be a different size than mine, then a good way to figure out your proper handle width is to do just about one third of the total width. So I'm doing 12 squares, and so a third of that is four. So I'm going to do four on each side like that. I'm going to just do the regular checkered pattern, but it's going to be a little different once we get to four squares. I'm doing my fourth square and for these last two stitches of the fourth square I'm going to decrease by combining them together. So to do that you're gonna wrap your yarn around the hook, go into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and then go into the next stitch pull up a loop. Now you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through three loops. Then chain three, turn. And now we are going to decrease again. The pattern for decreasing is going to be we're never decreasing when going towards or coming from the outside of the bag, so this side. But when we're going towards or coming from the inside of the bag, we will decrease. So we just decreased going towards the inside. Now we're going to decrease coming from the inside. Yarn over, insert your hook into this first stitch because now we only have three. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. Then I need to change colors. Now I'm just finishing this row like normal. There won't be any decreasing at the end because this is on the outside. Doing the last stitch. And then I need to change over to the white color. Chain three. 
not decreasing since we're on the outside. So I'm just doing the normal four double crochets. Change color. I'm changing colors and you'll want to pay attention for the end of this row to the next, the start of the next row because it is different because now we just have two stitches because these two stitches combined into one. And so now we have one, two stitches. So we're gonna work into both of those with a decrease. Chain three. And here's where it gets kind of weird. So you'll wanna pay attention. We're working another decrease, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm working that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through those two loops. But instead of yarning over and then going into this stitch, I'm gonna yarn over with the next color and then go into that next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, pull through three loops. So it looks like that. And I'd recommend watching that a few times if that was difficult or too fast. But then we just do our normal thing. Now we need to change colors for the next row. Flip. No decrease since we're starting on the outside. So just four regular double crochets. Now we are sticking with this color for these last two stitches because it's one, two, these both, this white and pink, are both one stitch now. So we're gonna do a decrease for both of those. Chain three, turn. Working another decrease, coming back. Change colors. Then I need to change colors to start the next row. Chain three and turn. I'm not decreasing since I'm on the outside. And here we're doing the same situation we did earlier with the kind of weird color change thing at the end of the row or the beginning of the next row, I guess. We're gonna pick up the new color, work a decrease into these two stitches with this white color, chain three. And this is where we do the weird decrease. So you're going to wrap your yarn around the hook with the white color that we chained through with, insert into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now we're going to drop this color, yarn over with the next color, then insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop. So now we have four loops on our hook, two are pink, two are white, yarn over, pull through those two, and then yarn over, pull through those three. And then just normal double crochets. Changing color for the next row, chain three. Now four regular double crochets.
for these last two stitches, we're working a decrease with this white color. We're not changing colors here. So doing a decrease, chain three, doing a decrease, Now we aren't decreasing since we're coming from the outside. So four double crochets, working a decrease into these two stitches. Chain three. Now we're doing the different kind of decrease. So wrap with that color, pull through two loops, and then Wrap with the new color, next stitch, pull through two, pull through three, then three more. Now I'm changing colors, and we've finished doing decreases because now we have four stitches, one, two, three, and then these two make one, so four total. Turn your work, then just do one double crochet in each stitch for a total of four double crochets, no decrease. Chain three, turn, and then you're gonna do the same thing. Again, no decreases, just four double crochets. Chain one, and then we're gonna cut our yarn. This is what your strap should look like. You should have one final square. You're gonna cut this yarn, leave enough for you to weave in at the end, and then the same with this yarn. Now just pull it through like that and tighten it down. Once we've done this handle, we need to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Take your yarn color that is opposite of this color right here, which is the white color for me. Make a slip knot. You're gonna insert your hook into this third chain of the chain three right here. Like so. Take your slip knot and then put it on the hook. Tighten it up and then pull it through. Chain three. Now do four double crochets. And then this is gonna be exactly the same checkered pattern that we've been doing in the same pattern for the handle that we just did on the other side. In this last stitch, I need to change colors. So I'm gonna grab my pink yarn, make a slip knot, put it on the hook, tighten it, and then pull that through. Then you can tighten this white down as well. And then four double crochets and this tail is on this is actually the good side so I'm gonna just pull that through to the back so it's on the bad side then I'm just continuing with my double crochets about to change colors done with this tail and remember we're doing four and then we stop and on those last two stitches of the fourth square we are going to work our first decrease and then from then on we're going to be doing a decrease every time we're coming from or heading towards the middle exactly like the other handle that we just did At this point, you might want to fold this over and check and make sure that they're the same height and that you didn't mess up and do one longer or shorter than the other. And if they are the right height, I'm just cutting just like we did on the other one. 
pull your yarn through, tighten. We've now done the front panel of the bag and now we have to just do exactly what we just did over again. So you can just rewatch all of this and redo this exactly and then come back. I've finished my two identical panels. At this point, I like to go ahead and weave in all of these ends because I just hate having to sew with all these ends everywhere. So I'm gonna do that. For an area like this, I'll just tie these two ends together. Not too tight though, because you don't wanna pull this down. Just tie it again. And now grab your darning needle and on the bad side of your work, just kind of weave your needle in random stitches, thread your yarn through your needle, and then just pull it through. Then I'll just find some more random stitches to go through. And this is just kind of securing that end. So there's no chance of it unraveling. Then I'll just cut this excess. Then just do the same with this piece and with all the other extra ends all over the bag. Now we can sew these together. So you're gonna take your good side of each panel and face it in to each other. This is the good side of this panel and then this is the good side of this panel and you want both good sides facing each other. So I'm flipping this good side backwards. So the good side is touching the good side. Now take your yarn, the same color that you started with when you first did your chains. Just kind of lay it loosely around the perimeter of the bag going from the top of this handle to the top of this handle. As you can see, I'm doing it really loosely and I'm giving myself extra. I'm gonna cut my yarn so I have a decent bit of extra. Take your needle, thread the yarn through the needle. To start, I just find a stitch there on the inside and then find a random stitch here on the inside, insert my hook and then pull it through until I have a little bit of yarn left. I'll leave like that much. Then I go from the inside again here to another inside stitch here and do the same thing. I'm always going from the right. There's tons of different ways to sew things together. So you can do whatever works for you, but this is just what I do. Take another inside stitch there, inside stitch there. And you're just gonna do this all the way down. And we aren't sewing these together there. We're only starting here because these are gonna be like that. And you're going all the way down the sides, the bottom of the bag, and then up here. And then again, stopping right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I've sewed everything together and now I'm going to kind of weave this end around and I'm still on the inside of the bag because it's inside out right now still so I'm just weaving it around I'm going to continue weaving it because you really want to secure this and then I'll find a little loop somewhere and make a knot so make this loop but instead of pulling it all the way through just reinsert reinsert your hook and then i'll do it one more time and then pull that and now i'm gonna cut this excess flip your bag inside out now and i forgot to secure this in this is the side that we started on and just do what i did on the other side you want to pick one of the sides of the handles, doesn't matter, I'll pick this one. Attach your yarn that is the opposite of this square. Make a slip knot. Insert your hook into the third chain of the chain three. Put the slip knot on the hook and tighten, and then pull that through that chain. Now chain three, 
and do a double crochet into this first double crochet and then three more and on the last one we're changing colors so don't pull through those last two loops take your other color and make a slip knot put that on your hook tighten it and then pull that through those loops then do four double crochets and what we're going to be doing is we are making the actual handles connect. So we're going to be adding some extra rows in here to connect these two. Finishing this up, chain three. You should kind of hold this up to you and see how much you need to put in between these to get an opening that you're happy with. I'm going to do six squares. That's how long it's going to be. And each one's going to be two squares wide like this. So turn and this is our good side. So we're keeping all of the yarn, the ugliness on the inside. Then we're just doing four double crochets until you get to a length that works for you. Now you want to hold this to the handle like that and then you're going to flip it so you're working on the inside and make sure that when you hold it it's not twisted or anything fun fact i just did it and then realized that i had it twisted so i had to refilm that so if you see any like knotted ends or anything i already did that because i thought i was done but you'll start with this third chain of the chain three right there and then insert into that very first stitch the inner loop then just sew them together just like we did for sewing the panels together. Just gonna weave it around and then tie it off and cut it. And then I'm gonna go around and find these random little ends that I have in different places and cut them and weave them and secure them. And then we're gonna be good. It's gonna be done guys. This is how the bag turned out. I am so happy with it. I really hope that this video helped you to make your own little bag. If you did enjoy the video and found it helpful, I would really appreciate a like and a comment, maybe even a subscription if you're feeling crazy. And if you have any other questions, then feel free to comment them below and I'd be happy to help. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think this is a pretty long video, so kudos to you for sticking around. But yeah, me and my bag say goodbye.